Hey, I wanted to do a video on autopilot on a local road with lights to show and demonstrate how autopilot can uh, handle, of course, steering, but also uh, getting through uh, various light, uh, lights on the road. So I think we're going to be um, coming up, I'm going to throttle down my speed here a little bit, to a set of red lights show you that the car will slow down by itself here it's slowing down um, coming up to a red light uh, as long as there are cars in front of you um, the autopilot will handle lights fine so the cars have been stopped and uh, the front-facing radar uh, adaptive cruise control slowed us down and then started us up again. Did not have to, I was asked in a comment, did not have to uh, tap anything to get the car to start up again. It slows down, it can slow down all the way to a stop and then um, start up again by itself. So we're going down, we've got a few lights that we're going to go through. Some may be green, some, some may be red. The um, current generation autopilot uh, will not be able to stop at a red light if there's no car in front of you. But as long as there's a car in front of you stopping, um, the front-facing radar will um, stop because the car in front of you has stopped. So we're going to go through probably uh, four or five or six lights here on this uh, highway. And uh, we'll see how it does. So far it's doing great. Steering by itself. Other than my hands loosely on the wheel just to be safe, nor do I have my feet on the pedals. So here we have a green light. Uh, we'll make it through without a problem. Again, there's nice lines on the road, so it's steering by itself uh, perfectly fine. You may get a warning every once in a while. I'll try to show you one of the warnings uh, that you get every three minutes or so. I did a video on how you can uh, adjust your speed, um, change lanes, or maybe just wiggle the wheel a little bit to avoid getting the warning messages every three minutes. So here we have a nice little turn. Took it just fine. Again, I keep my hands close, but I don't uh, actually have them on the wheel. Here's the warning. So I'm just going to wiggle the wheel a little bit to acknowledge that I'm alive. Okay, we've got a red light coming up. I'm already slowing down. You can see the speed and the car in front of me. And uh, it's handling this fine. So again, with uh, traffic on a road like this, uh, autopilot can really uh, do full self-driving in a sense. Um, because... The um, red lights are typically uh, full of cars, like this one. Light just turned green, cars moving uh, in front of me, so we start up automatically. Again, I engaged autopilot uh, almost four minutes ago, and it's been driving by itself all this time. One thing you do have to watch out for, maybe a little bit more on these local roads, are cars merging in front of you. Uh, I have the Hardware One, uh, Autopilot One. I don't know whether the uh, Hardware Two, Autopilot Two, um, handles cars merging into your lane well, but uh, the Hardware One, Autopilot One, doesn't really handle cars merging into your lane um, I've never pushed it all the way or allowed it to uh, see if it would stop for the car I uh, usually uh, bail out so again we're hitting some traffic another red light autopilot's handling it um, and uh, I think I'll just let uh, you watch from here
So here's another red light, uh, car stopping by itself. I would take a phone call, so I had a little uh, edit in the uh, video there. And uh, we're just demonstrating how autopilot can really handle uh, highways with red lights pretty well. Whether that person in front of me was waving at me, <laughs> waving at someone else, but uh, they were waving. And it's been steering great on this highway. It's uh, fairly well lined. So the uh, blue lines you get on uh, the dashboard, I let you know that it sees the lines in the road. And that's when autopilot can be engaged. more lights ahead, but uh, there's a merge situation now. did pick that one up, but it wasn't a really close merge. The um, problem that I see with the merge is when you're doing, when you're creeping real slow in a car, you need to um, allow the car to merge in front of you, mm -hmm. and what the car doesn't do what the Tesla doesn't know how to do yet is to um, allow a car to merge in front of you when you're going to grant them uh, the ability to merge. That's usually a situation where you're going pretty slow uh, and you're just trying to be nice to let the car come in. They really usually have the yield, need to yield for you. But uh, now here's a situation where we have a green light. Hopefully it'll stay green. If it turned red right here and I couldn't make it through, I would have to take over by just hitting the brake pedal. Um, but uh, it stayed green. So you really can't um, completely uh, tune out, although every three minutes you get a warning anyway. Uh, and you really should be always watching the car, which I do. But uh, you really uh, have to be uh, uh, ready uh, on a road like this with uh, red lights um, in case you're going to be the, the uh, last car to go through the intersection on a red light because you're going to have to stop yourself. Okay, we've got another one coming up. Let's see what happens in this situation. Slowing down. But uh, turned green, so we're going through no problem. So the autopilot's really working well. I think that's the last light for a while. So I'm going to uh, end it here. So that was a demonstration of autopilot on a road with lights, and uh, it performed flawlessly through all the intersections. Primarily because the lights were either green or when it was red, there was plenty of traffic in front of me that had stopped and the autopilot uh, cruise control, uh, its normal operation is to slow down when traffic in front of you slows down. Take care. Thanks for watching. You can check out my other Tesla videos in the upper right here. And uh, here's a shout out to my son's channel, The Nerd Writer. Did a very nice uh, video this week on David Fincher. It was trending number one on YouTube this morning. Please don't forget to subscribe.